Let's look at a simple example of using 1 over f is equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v for a concave mirror, and we're not going to do anything complicated with this one. We're just going to uh, have a, quite a simple example. So um, in this question, we would be given the information as follows, uh, that the um, distance to the object, u, is, um, we'll say, 45 centimeters. Uh, and the distance to the image, which is V, is something like 30 centimeters. And then the question would be, what is the focal length? Of the mirror. So obviously this is going to be based on 1 over F is equal to 1 over U plus 1 over V. We've given U and we've been given V. So it's a simple task of using the formula 1 over f is equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v, like that. So we have to substitute in our values for u and v. So we get 1 over f is equal to, in this case, 1 over u, which is 1 over 45, plus, and then uh, v is given as 30, so 1 over 30, like that. Uh, now, you could put this into a calculator. You could put 1 over 45 plus 1 over 30 into a calculator, and it'll give you out the answer. I'm going to show here how to do this with um, uh, a common denominator. So 1 over f. Uh, now, a common denominator is going to be 90 because 45 will divide evenly into 90, and so will 30. So if I put 90 there like this, and 90 there, uh, then to see what goes up here, I'd say, well, 45 into 90 goes twice, and 2 by 1 is 2. And on this side, uh, 30 goes into 90 three times, and then 3 by 1 is 3. So what I get is my answer here is 1 over f is equal to, now because these are both over 90, I can add these figures. Uh, so I will end up with 5 over 90, like this. And that can be simplified further if we want, because 5 will go into 90 evenly. So 5 will go into 5 once, and 5 will go into 90 one, 18 times, like that. Okay. So then what do we end up with as our answer? Well, 1 over f equals 1 over 18. So I now need to get f on its own. Now, there's two ways to get to the answer from here. One is that you could consider cross multiplication, so you could say, well, f by 1, like that, if this is the way that you do it in maths class, and 1 by 18. So you would end up with f by 1 would give you f by 1, like that, is equal to, and 1 by 18 is 1 by 18. And that will give you an overall answer of f equals 18 centimeters. Or the other way you could do it is, well, if you had 1 over f is equal to 1 over 18, well, I could say I've got 1 over f here, but really I want f. So I could do 1 over this side, uh, which would just give me f, which means I'd have to do 1 over this side uh, because you've got the equal sign here in the middle. So 1 over 1 over f would just give me f, and 1 over uh, 1 over 18 would just give me 18 centimeters. Uh, but either way, you get the same answer, so it doesn't really matter. And that gets you the focal length. Now, uh, a couple of common mistakes that people make with this um, with this question it is we should put it in a different color, something like this. It would be here. Do not do this. A lot of people get to here and they will write one over f is equal to one over seventy five or two over seventy five would be very common. Two over seventy five and where this would come from is they would say well one and one is two. And 45 and 30 is 75. And that is incorrect. That's not the way that you add fractions. You have to get a common denominator. Or if you just put this into your calculator, you will end up with um, the answer 1 over 18. So that's, um, that's the best way to do it. Okay, that's a simple example. And we look at more complicated examples uh, in other videos.